Hey guys, so back with another vlog. If you guys hear anybody talking in the back, it's my mom talking. But anyways, I have a birthday dinner and we're going to karaoke. So I need to get ready. Just making hella noise. But what was I going to say? It's at 7.30 and it's currently, let me let you guys know the time. 6.48 and it's downtown, I think. I haven't even checked the address, but I'm going to quickly shower, take this off, put a wig on, quickly do my makeup. My outfit's already set, so I already have that planned. I'm just going to quickly shower and do what I have to do because it's probably going to take me about 30, 35 minutes to get there. So I already told the birthday girl I'm going to be late, which is fine, but I don't want to be too late because there is other people going to be there who I don't really talk to and I don't want them to be like, oh, this bitch is so tardy, which I'm not. I'm normally on time. It's just that I just got back from work and I didn't plan everything right and times got confused. Well, I confused the times and I just didn't plan everything right. So I had to do what I had to do. I couldn't cancel clients, right? So I just worked and I'm like, here now about to get ready and look at me wasting time trying to talk to y'all. But I'm gonna go shower, come back, put my wig on, do my makeup, and I'm gonna show y'all the finished look, and then off to dinner and karaoke. So guys, I'm currently doing my makeup. I'm just doing a light beat. I'm not even putting foundation on. My brows are done. I lightly, slightly put my wig on. I just have to still fix that part, wave it up a little bit, and i will be done i'm not even putting lashes on because nobody got time but i don't even know what time it is i haven't checked that address of this place i don't know how far it is for me oh, i feel so bad my brows look crazy or maybe they don't whatever maybe i have to make them a little bit more skinny because this does not look like my brows <laughs> Then again, I really don't have any brows, so. Does it really matter? Does it? I think that looks a little bit better. I think it gives a fuck. Not I. So, just. That should be good. Trust the process. Trust the process. Yeah, not me about to leave in this motherfucking wig. That's the whoopty woo on my head. Pissing me off. I didn't even realize it slipped. That's about to be a scary night. Okay, this is where I want it. Cause I got oils on my head. Okay, I gotta go. Like I don't wanna wait too long. Cause it's gonna take me 30 minutes. I don't wanna be more than 30 minutes. <sighs> Shang my No, that's not how you spell it. Shang Shang. my den for it I'm gonna be so late pretty far I'm not gonna cap to okay let's call this oh my gosh so let's just say hi to the camera hi. Um, Sarah do you want to say hi <laughs> hi Phoenix Walk my name is Faber I do actually. I have. Um, I don't know the name though. You don't find it for you. So put it on my Instagram. Name. Okay, yeah. I don't have it. Instagram is some letters instead of just. Yeah, I'm gonna tag everybody down below. I kind of remember yours. It's like F F X A. Are you on? Okay. 
Um, I'm Nana. You want to see your Instagram handle? Yet. No? Oh, okay. Exclusive. She's a surprise. Yeah. I like that. The birthday girl is here. I'm just going to show you guys her. Oh my god, this hair color looks so fucking good on her. <laughs> Happy birthday, birthday, girl! Happy birthday, lady! My name. Sit there, stand in here. Oh yeah, yeah. Pull, 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 pull. She looks so fat. Good. Period. Wait, wait, hold on. Flash on, flash on, guys. All right. Ready? 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 Yeah. Pretty little thing, you got a bag and now you violent You just took it off the line, no mileage Way they hitting you, the damn looking violent Talking while you come around and not in silent Through the group of 17, no bodies You be staying low, but you know what the vibes is Ain't never got you, know it being modest Popping shit, but only cause you know you popping, yeah You got it, girl, you got it You got it, girl, you got it Little no, baby in a bag and a Birkin No, not a vibe, but you're working Laws and all, I love them all to me a Birkin Baby girl, you got it, girl, you got it, girl. Uh -huh. You got it, girl, you got it, girl. No, no, no. No insurance? I think it's all that. Like, you know, that's just like, So, right now, we're trying to pack up our food. I'm vlogging for her. I'm vlogging for it. You want to say hi? Can I say hi? Yeah, she doesn't know I'm vlogging. Yeah. I'm vlogging for you, Fina. Don't worry. I took over your channel. Don't worry. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Too. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel. The link will be down in the description box. I'll tell Fina to put it. I'll send that shit. <laughs> Look at Fina doing her makeup. I'm your cameraman today. Hold on, wait. Right, what are you doing? Oh. Wait, wait, wait. wait. That's the takeout bowl? Yeah, it's, it's very nice. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. What's up for you? Yeah, you have This one. Imagine. This is the I'm trying to take the pineapple one. How does this song go here? What? What song? Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. This is quality content. Double, double. Double. Yeah, double, 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 double. Yeah, I done cut out a bunch of clips that needed to be in this vlog because I didn't really fill y'all in like as to what happened after karaoke. Like I did fill y'all in but I deleted it because I didn't like the way the clips came out. I don't know why I did that but whatever. As I could tell, my eggs, if you can hear, they're boiling, bouncing that ass in the water. Probably needs like an extra five minutes and it should be done. So let me tell y'all what happened after karaoke or whatever. So after going to Chiang Mai, we ate, we talked, we just, you know, we did the whole kiki and whatnot. And it was a vibe. Like I fucked with it so heavy. Like seeing people that I haven't seen in a while. It was so cute. I liked it. And then after that, we headed over to karaoke. We didn't even stay di at dinner that long because, um, y'all, we arrived like a whole hour late because I think reservations were made for 7.30. I don't know if she pushed it to 8.30. I'm guessing she did because I don't know what happened, but like a lot of us were just behind and yeah, so we didn't stay there for long. I think we I got there at 8.30. We didn't order food until like 9, 9.20 and we left around like... 10 like literally like we had to take a lot of our food to go which wasn't an issue and then after that we headed to karaoke karaoke was such a vibe i loved it i didn't think i was gonna have fun but i did it was so nice i was like karaoke like you're just screaming and singing into a mic i don't know how to sing so i was like holy shit these people are gonna laugh at me but honestly it was everybody was welcoming like it was nice 
after karaoke we were like it was like 12 12 30 or whatever and we were like yo what is happening now because like are we ready to go home it's a friday night like toronto's always popping you know the club scene and so we're like what are we doing so i had suggested let's go to six lounge we went to six lounge and honestly personally when i got there i was like because i heard of it i heard some other girls talking about it and i was like mm, let me check it out let me see what the vibes are because i've been to other few places i'm like mm, can't knock it till you try it tried it and i'm knocking that shit like it's not my favorite place i don't think i would ever go back there i probably would but it definitely would not be my first option um it was just a lot of grown people people were just posted up on the walls like we got there for like one something i think one almost two o'clock and then when we got there how do i say this like it was kind of dead but after a while people did start coming in i'm not gonna lie i noticed that but like still they weren't doing shit when they came in like everybody was just posted up buying bottles it was like a flexing club more than anything in my opinion it didn't look like everybody was there to have a good time and then like they had strippers there too i was like I don't ever remember um, lounges having strippers and I was even talking to my client on Saturday morning because I had a 9 a.m. and I had to push her because I was just so fucking tired when we got home. I pushed her and I was like oh like she loves Six Lounge like Six Lounge is her place that's where she goes and I was like oh like the strippers and she was like yeah they never used to have strippers I don't know when that started happening and I was like that's like I don't nothing against strippers but I was just like I was like, that's not what I was here to see. Like, if I wanted to see that, I would have went to a strip club. You know what I mean? Because I went to a strip club and I liked strip clubs, but I had to be in the mood to be seeing all of that. Like, and so after that, we were like, we ended up getting a booth, but then the bottle girls were like, oh, you gotta buy two bottles or whatever. At first, she was like, no, you can buy one bottle and y'all can stay in the booth. We were gonna get it, but in the back of my head, I'm like, I'm not even about to drink this shit, so I'm not paying for it. So, or I'm not about to pitch in because. Like, I had to work at 9 a.m. the next morning. I was like, and it was like pushing three o'clock. So, put two and two together. I was like, yeah, I don't want to fucking drink. And then, after that, we were just like, oh, like, we left. And then, it was either between two or Lashish. And we were like, we decided on Lashish. Because, I don't know, Lashish is just such a vibe. If you're in the GTA area and you've never been to Lashish, you actually need to check it out. Because, yo, first of all, the DJ... I don't know who he is. I forgot to take a picture of his name because I really wanted to like check his Instagram out because he's an amazing DJ. I think he was there the last time we were there too and he's an amazing DJ. Like he knows how to mix his music correctly. Like he's not doing all that yappa 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 on the fucking mic. Like he was the shit. Like I need to find out who that DJ is. And then like the vibes there like even though it is like a mixture of older and younger people like everybody there is vibing. Like it's a vibe. Like even at the bar, ten, like the like the bar, the niggas. It's not even bitches at the bars. It's the niggas and the niggas at the bars. Like they're a vibe. Like they're like middle Middle Eastern guys. They're like lit. They even like switched their location. Like they used to be. They're in the same plaza, but they had like a smaller unit. But now they have a bigger unit. The big unit has even up upstairs. It's crazy. I love Lashish. Like I that is somewhere I would go like all the time. And yeah, so. That's what happened Friday night, well, into Saturday morning. After that, I went to work. I had a 9 a.m. appointment, but y'all, I woke up at 8.02. I looked on my phone and I messaged this girl, I'm like, yo, can you come for 10? Because I was so fucking tired. And luckily, me and her are close. So it was like, yeah, she was like, whatever. Because I think she had went out last night, too. And she didn't come home until like 5 o'clock. And she was like, yeah, cool. The next morning, we came, bitch. We looked at each other and just busted out into laughter because we were like, holy fuck. I was like, never again. I don't know how people do this shit every weekend consecutively and they go to work and they're doing all of this because I'm like, that lifestyle is not for me. Maybe once in a while I'll do it, but not all the time. And yeah, my Saturday was pretty chill. And then I went to Subway right after my first client on Saturday went to subway and i'm recording lady make my sub i even deleted the video because i didn't even want that shit on my fucking youtube all that negative energy she was pushing out and then i went to subway went to subway i ordered my fucking food i ordered a six inch pizza sub and i ordered a six inch cold cut i'm recording her making my sandwich and and I, she noticed me recording, but she doesn't see anything. And I'm like, me being me, I was like, oh, like, don't worry, your face is not in it. 
And then she goes, mind you, before this, I was recording for like a minute or two before she even said, before she, before I even said that. Now, after I said that, she's like, what are you doing? Um, you're not supposed to do that. It's illegal. Da, 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 da. I'm like, babe, like I told you, your face is not in it. Like, what are you worried about? And she's like, well, if something happens, like, I'm like, I get it. But your face is not in it. And this is not a hatred video. Like, I'm not doing this to bash your business or bash your location or bash you. Like, nobody knows which subway location this is. This could be all the way in fucking Australia for God knows. Like, you know? Like, you know what I mean? So I was just like, you're doing too much. Like, she kept going back and forth, back and forth with me. She even asked for my name, my number. She wanted to see my ID. I was like, I didn't give her, first of all, I didn't even give her none of that. I only gave her my name, but I spelled it completely different. I was like, because you're doing too much. And I even had my money in my hand. I'm ready to pay her. Like, she just kept holding back. I'm like, okay, like, do you, at the end of, at the, end of the conversation, I'm like, do you want me to pay for this or not? Because, like, uh, I can take my business elsewhere. Like, because you're just doing too much. It was, like, so annoying. She was frustrating me. But was so, I should have kept that clipped in so y'all could see what the fuck she was talking about. I was like talking about oh, I can't record. I'm like, babe, yes I can. Like, this is not your property. You guys are paying rent on this property. This is not your property. But anyways, <sighs> that's besides the point. After that, I had another client, did her nails, whatever. If you guys want to follow my nail page, check it out. I'm going to keep this, I'm going to put this on my page. I don't know. On the video or down below in the link. And then in the description bar not link then yeah you know we're here sunday sunday did i record what i did this morning no i didn't i woke up pretty much i was about to do laundry then i realized i didn't have the fob to open the laundry mat downstairs so could not do that my laundry bag is sitting right there i don't know if you guys can see that top of the orange bag it's sitting right there because i'm waiting for my mom or my sister to come home so i can go get that done but it probably won't be done today because i had a schedule and I don't want to fuck it up because I didn't do laundry earlier. So I think I'm going to do that tomorrow. And then after that, I had ordered Burger King. Yes, it was like 10, 11 o'clock. I ordered Burger King for breakfast. I had a Whopper, fries, and a drink. Took a nap. And then I'm literally not waking up. I woke up about 30 minutes ago. And I'm boiling eggs, which I'm about to take off the stove. Eat that with some carrots. I think in the last clip, I told y'all what I'm eating. And then after that... I'm gonna head to the gym, y'all gonna follow me, and then, yeah, and I'm gonna come home, make some TikToks. I'm gonna try to make as many TikToks as I can just to post out for this week, and then, yeah, we are going to get ready for bed. My goal is to be in bed by 12 o'clock, or asleep by 12, I'd say 12.30 the latest, no, 12.45 the latest, but yeah, that is my goal for today, so let's get to doing after the gym i might come home and organize my closet actually because i've been wanting to do that and i don't want to do it tomorrow so yeah let's get these eggs popping <laughs> to go to the gym i'm so nervous i haven't been to the gym in so long like i don't even know what i'm gonna do when i get there but that's besides the point i don't know like i just need to start going to the gym i want to start feeling better i want to start feeling more confident i want to start feeling more sexy in my outfits like there's so many outfits that i have that i want to wear and i just i'm scared to wear them because like my belly is belly and like i mean my belly is not bad but since i'm top heavy Meaning, my breasts are a lot bigger, and I tend to, like, carry more fat in my stomach and my back. 
it's like little to none in my ass like so you know i'm giving letter p like so it just like makes me less confident like i i think i'm a confident person but also like i feel like i'm also lacking which could definitely be worked on and i feel like the gym will definitely help me out and then also i want to get a breast reduction and i did go see a few plastic surgeons last year and then i also seen like one this year and they were like oh like you're a great candidate for this procedure it's just that you know your bmi is a bit high so and i was like yeah i know i just thought that i would be able to get it done because i've seen girlies a lot bigger than me not to bash anybody but like get the work done and i was like i figured that i could go and just talk to a doctor and see if they could do it and they were like yeah i know like you know in canada our rules are a little bit more strict than the states and they don't want to you know all of that stuff and one of the doctors was like oh like there's a chance your nipple could fall off and i was like my sister got it done and her nipple fell off and she's smaller than me so i was like i don't think size has anything to do with that i just think that's just one of the side effects that comes with that procedure um no but it it, it can be put back on but i'm just saying and then um what was i gonna say so I was like, let me try my chances, but I was also talking to my family doctor, and she was like, there are doctors out there who do it, you just have to find them, because she doesn't know personally who they are, but, like, she knows that they are out there, I just have to look for them, and it's just kind of hard, because a lot of these doctors on their website, they don't say that they do, you have to kind of, like, call in and talk to them, which is, and a lot of times, they don't want to talk to you over the phone, I mean, they will, but most times, they'll, like, book you in for a consultation, consultations, a lot of them, they're not free you're paying for them out of pocket and they can range anywhere from 80 to 250 and sometimes depending on what doctor you're going to 500 i remember i went to one doctor his consultation was 300 i paid for it though because i was like so desperate around that time <sighs> crazy but what's i gonna say again yeah so like and and back of my head i'm like they're right maybe i should lose weight before i get the surgery because i don't want to get the surgery and then lose weight and then i lose the shape and everything after like you know from all that work that they did to me so i'm like let me lose the weight and then get the procedure done so that it could look its best you know what i mean so yeah i'm about to head off to the gym actually first i need to make a um that energy drink whatever you call that stuff you know the pre-mix the pre-workout stuff i'm gonna make me one of those before i go because i'm about to leave in like 30 minutes what time is that and yeah like i have a goal let me show y'all like i've had this picture in my phone for quite some time now oh, focus focus let me get out of the way like i just love this girl's physique like it looks like her body is just so like to die for like the only thing is i probably won't want my arms so big but i love her legs in like this area like you're probably like what the hell do you like about this area i don't know what it is it just looks like it looks like she works out but she's not doing too much like it's so cute to me even regina carter has a similar body and i really like it so like that's my goal even though i know i'm not gonna look exactly like that i'm trying to look something like that but yeah i'm gonna go to the gym or i'm gonna figure out if i should fix my hair or not or just leave it Yo, I just want to lay in bed. Like, the yesterday Fino would have just hopped in bed and said, fuck the gym. Like, but say, I'm trying to be different. I'm trying to change. I'm trying to change. I'm literally always trying to change. It's just that the devil is working. He is working. He is sending his minions out. He is working. Like, I've been trying to change for so long. Like, it's been years. Like, it's really hard. I'm just like, I went through a phase where I was like, working consistently and I was doing this, I was doing that, I was doing that. That's how I got so far in my nail business and I got my studio and everything. And then boom, after a while, everything just shut down. Like, I'm like, I don't want to do shit. People leave me the fuck alone. I was cool. I was cool at one point. And a while, I just, I just stopped talking to people. I'm like, I don't want to fucking, f I don't fuck with nobody. I'm like, leave me alone. Everything bothers me. I'm like, I don't know what it is, but I'm trying to change. I'm trying to change. I want the old me back. I don't want the old me back, but I definitely want, parts of her back but I, I like the change that i have it made me a lot more aware in life and less gullible and naive i mean that's the same thing but i just want to be a better me like you know what i mean like i just i don't know 
Like, look at this fucking belly. Like, I'm gonna film a show, guys. When I get to the gym, I pop at the camera. You guys will probably see what I'm talking about. But yeah. Should I do a try on haul for like big titty girls? Like, but you guys not gonna see that. Like, let me know. So if you guys do, I will. So I haven't shopped on Sheen yet. And if y'all let me know y'all want this, I'm gonna shop on Sheen just for y'all. So today is just not going as planned like I had on my mind I was like okay I'm gonna go to the gym do laundry and and I realized I can't do any of that without that key because all of those key that those doors require that key to get in like you you need that key and my sister's the only one with it I called my mom I'm like mom when you coming home she's like she's coming home soon so she should be in the next like five ten minutes but she doesn't have her key and like the thing is with our building they're like in order to make to give us the other two keys we need the third key because they need to copy the code that's on that key because like everything is linked with your unit right you know just to be able to track people like it's a safety thing and i'm like fuck like this is too much so you know what i'm like you know what instead of going to, i think walmart probably might be closed tomorrow instead of it probably won't be it's just thanksgiving instead of going tomorrow i'm gonna go today i know it'll probably be hella busy because people are grabbing shit last minute because you know people a lot of people procrastinate it's not just you trust me so i'm just gonna go there and get my whiteboard like my calendar that i want on the wall because like i'm really trying to get serious with my fucking schedule i'm gonna go get that and then yeah i'm gonna go do that and then yeah and then come back home and I did the videos and I called my sister and she said, I asked her, I'm like, yo, are you, are you coming home? And she said yes later on tonight, but her later on tonight is like fucking 2 o'clock in the morning. So, I'm just gonna have to work out tomorrow morning, unfortunately. I'm not doing at home workout. I can't do that. That's not me. I mean, I've tried it before and it's just, it just don't be hitting the same. It don't. Um, if I'm really, really feeling like I need to work out, then I'll do like a quick little home workout. Um, home workout, but for the most part, I'm not gonna force it. Maybe God, this is God's sign telling me, don't go, bitch, you might hurt yourself. Like, so, but tomorrow, definitely, I'm going to grab that fob for my sister because I need that fucking shit. Like, she don't be using it. She don't need it. Like, the buzzer is connected to her phone, like, you know, so she could use her phone for that. Like, um, what's in a second, yeah, I'm just waiting on my Uber. I called my Lyft. I think it says, like, seven minutes away. Yeah, seven minutes away. I don't know why I just showed you guys. I hope you guys didn't see my address. But yeah, I'm gonna go to Walmart. Probably get a. I need a board. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. And then I might get like a little snack or something to like snack on, like something healthy, like skinny popcorn or something. People say it tastes good. I might try it. Um. And then yeah, knowing my mom, she'll probably call me and ask her to pick. No, call me and ask me to pick something up for her. And I'm gonna tell her I only got two arms, so keep it small. Because that lady, like, when she finds out I'm going to Walmart or, like, Superstore or something, she just wants me to pick up the whole fucking store for her. And I'm not doing that today. I'm not. Like, I'm going to pick up a small one, two for her, but that's it. Like, I fucking hate carrying shit. Like, I'm the type to Instacart stuff, and I can't Instacart this board because I need the right one. So I have to go in and actually check it out for myself. So, yeah. Catch y'all on my heart. But do you guys see how my face changed after I put this on? Like, I'm not ugly. I just needed hair. Like, I'm the type. I could rock my short hair, but not pull it back. It has to be in a furrow. Who is that? Yeah, like, if you go on my TikTok, you can see I have short hair, but it looks really nice on me, like, in a furrow. Not pulled back. Like, I don't, I don't have the front face for pulled back. I noticed that a while ago. Like I had like a um it was like a frontal for me and I had like the two it just didn't front my face right. But yeah. There's certain ponytails I'll do but it has to look a certain way and it has to be sitting a certain way. That's why 
I go to sir, I go to this one girl. She's the only one who could do it for me. Like You party, you party, yeah. Pretty little thing, you got a bag and now you violent. You just take it off the line, no mileage. Waiting in you, the DM looking for it. Talking while you come around and not in silent. Through the group of 17, no bodies. You be staying low, but you know what the vibe is. Ain't nothing got you, know it being modest. Popping shit, but only cause you know you popping, yeah. You got it, girl, you got it. Hey. You got it, girl, you got it. So guys, I'm back from Walmart. I didn't really record because it was just way too busy in there. And I, yeah, I got my board. This is not what I wanted, but this is going to do. Good. It's a whiteboard plus... Um, It's a dry erase cap. It's a dry erase and plus a board, so I can like pin stuff down here if I want. I mean, I could probably pin stuff through here, but I wouldn't want to do that. And then, what's the egg? What's the egg? I want some stuff for my studio. Just some candy and whatnot. I feel like I'm gonna eat all these crunch bars <laughs> and Skittles, and then some markers for the dry erase board. Even though it comes at one, I'm gonna need more. Like just some backups and just to categorize stuff. And then I got my snack to munch on skinny popcorn. Oh my god. Two of these cashew things. You got do you know how much this stuff came up to? $62 Canadian. Inflation is beating my ass. Inflation is beating my ass. But let me tell you something. The best thing you could do in these times is buy quality so you're not buying shit over. You know what I mean? If I can hear my mom, sorry, she'd be loud as fuck, like, for no reason. I should be like, uh, I'm way, like, just doing the fucking most. Anyways, camera's already well set up so you guys can watch me sing this. Okay, I'm gonna start that now. First of all, like this thing doesn't even have enough room. Cause I started this Saturday on the first, cause like it started on the first, but whatever. I didn't even put this thing on the top of me, like. Cause it's supposed to be two, but I lost the screw for the other one. <laughs> like literally, I was playing around with it, trying to figure out how I'm gonna put this up. If I find it, I'll do it later. <laughs> 